Archer Road. I'm a textile artist, teacher and writer. I enjoy applying foils in a variety of ways to my work to make them just that little bit special. And today I'm going to introduce you to working with glue granules or a powdered glue uh, that is used as a method of application of the foils to your work. I'm going to show you a method of adding some glitzy magic dust into your work. So I'm going to work with a powdered glue. This is the glue that you can buy from my website in small packets. A little goes a long, long way. Powdered glue. What I would strongly recommend that you do, if you do get the glue from me, is to decant it into something that you can shake from, like the salt cellar. Use the label from the packet to relabel the salt cellar. Keep it in a very safe place. What I'm going to do is just shake the glue granules from the salt cellar. It's very much a less is more technique. You don't need very much of this for an effect at all. I'm going to apply the foil. Now the foil comes in a range of colours, silver, bronze, copper and gold. I'm going to work with the gold. Take your sheet of foil Place it directly over where you've sprinkled the granules. Now remember, when you're placing the foil down, that you always place the colour side up. The gold side is going to be towards me. The dull side is going to be down towards the fabric there. My iron's at the ready. This is cotton fabric I'm working with, and the iron is at a cotton setting. But I'm going to protect my work and the foil with a sheet of baking parchment. Place the baking parchment over your project. Take the iron out a cotton setting. This is a vented iron, so I'm going to keep the iron moving. I'm going to keep it moving for about 10 seconds. Gliding it smoothly over the fabric. And this is a nice hard surface that I'm working on here. So this should make it good effect at the end of the day. Put a bit of body weight into it and keep the iron moving for those 10 seconds. That should be enough. Put the iron to one side, lift the baking parchment off and just cool your project down. So take a corner of the foil, peel it off gently once it's cooled down and you've got a wonderful stardust effect on your project. And that technique that I've just demonstrated with the powder glue, I've used that to add an additional bit of glitz and glitter into the background of this beautiful Celtic dragonfly. Similarly with this lilac one here. And these kits are available from my website. Quick and easy and very successful. I'm going to show you some finished samples here using the glue granules. So here I've applied the glue, sprinkled it, used silver foil to give the effect of falling snow in the sky here and to give the effect of the moonlight glistening on the snow in the foreground. Another Christmas piece here where I've used the powdered glue to add a bit of glitter into the background of this piece. And a similar piece, but with a light coloured background this time. Again, I've used the glue to add a little bit of glitz into the background of the piece and also in the centre of the poinsettia as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video on how to use the glue granules to add that special bit of sparkle into your work. Think of champagne corks popping, stars in the night sky, winter frost on a woodland scene. I hope that's inspired you to use them in your work. Look out for other videos that I'll be doing in the future that will introduce you to other methods of embellishing your work and ways of making that work very special to you and unique. Thank you.